got a, a little lady who works in at a making underpants at a, a garment plant up in Frankfort, Kentucky. I, I won't call her name, but I'll tell you. You should read what she wrote me, that she sits there sewing on this underwear all day long and said, it, it's hard work, but said, when I get before an audience playing the guitar and singing, said, it gives me life, it gives me hope. I got a letter from a guy who spent 15 years in penitentiary. Now, he'll be here tomorrow. I want you all to meet him. His name is Robert Gooch. He learned to play a harmonica while he was in penitentiary because he got in with the wrong... What he did is nothing bad. He helped some boys escape from jail. Well, they forgot about the boys, and they got him. They threw him in the penitentiary, and he stayed there for it. They forgot about him being in there. This is true. But he's out. But he, it was probably a good thing because he learned to play the harmonica, and the first song that he learned to play was, Oh, How I Wish I Had the Wings of a Dove. <laughs> Uh, because I love Smithville and I like everybody here. Mighty fine people. And uh, I think everybody's wonderful here. And uh, I enjoy being here and playing with them. And I hope to be with them again. How long have you been playing that? Uh, ever since I was just a little bitty fella around eight year old. And I've been playing ever since. I love country music. I grew up as a country boy, and I'm still a country boy, and I'll always be a country boy. And I'll always love the country people and the city people. I love everybody. Two weeks ago, I got a letter, which I've got in the briefcase, from his 99-year-old grandmother, telling me what a hard time he'd had. Let me tell you something about this boy. His mother, I don't think he knows who one of his parents is. I don't think he knows, but the, who, whichever one had him, gave him away when he was six or seven years old to a couple, and they didn't, they gave him away. He was given away three times, and he slept on the river banks near where he lives, near Florence, Alabama. What has happened to this boy? He's, he's got a brain tumor. He doesn't know what you call it. He said, he, in the letter he wrote me, he calls it cancer of the head. He's not real letter, but the salt of the earth, a great fella. Well, what I really like to say, I like to play for the little children because uh, I, it keeps them out of trouble, you know. A lot of little kids walk up to me and say, Bobby, have you got another harmonica? I say, yeah, I've got another harmonica there, and I give it to him, sit down there and play it and watch him play with me, and that is my life, you know. Are you on the program tonight or in the oh, morning? Oh, yes, yeah, tonight and tomorrow. When can we look for you? Well, I'll be down there somewhere, and all you have to do is spot me. Or I might have all the people out here dancing. <laughs>
those people scatter when the rain began. Sure did. I don't blame them. I would have too. <laughs> popular old time fiddle tune that's played. You're the you're the champion of the Smithville Festival, aren't you? What's the story? Well, I won it down there last year, both in the senior division and the playoff between the junior and the senior the fiddler down there. I won both places down there last year. And of course I'd like to win it again this year. But you never know. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a fiddling fit down there. <laughs> <laughs> you think you got a good chance though, huh? Well, I don't know. I don't even know how no idea in the world where the talent might come from. From Triune, Tennessee, Paul Crisman. Now, my style of fiddle is a style within myself. There's nobody in the world plays like me, and I don't try to play like nobody else. I hear you play a fiddle tune, I hear him play one that I like. Well, of course, I'm going to learn it. Try to memorize that tune, and after I memorize the tune, then I put my feeling to it. And that's my tune then. I play it like I feel it. I don't want to play it like the other fiddlers. And uh, I think you're better off to do that because you've got a style within yourself. I don't need to pattern somebody else. It wouldn't be me a fiddler. Harry, this is twice that the uh, jamboree has been interrupted by rain, but it doesn't seem to stop very much. Just keep no, on. no. We respect the Lord, but he, we know that the Lord wants us to have a good time. All he's doing is cooling us off a little bit. We need that. I need him now. We had to make the decision to postpone it. If, some, if lightning struck those lines, somebody could get killed. I can gamble with my life, but not the life of these people. I can't play the fiddle as good as I used to could, but uh, uh, I'm trying to hold on to where I can play it, at least to where it won't be boresome to the people to listen to it, because I enjoy it. But I can't play the fiddle as good as I did it back when I was 30 years old. I don't think. I don't know what you think about it. If you could have heard something I'd done 30, when I was 30, I know my touch is not as good. But, see, if you begin to get 65 years of age, it makes a lot of difference. You're just going to keep playing until you drop over. I'm going to play as long as I can wiggle a finger. <laughs> Let's look out under the tent now, Neil. It looks like the clouds are breaking up. That's right. That's right. It, it looks like they're breaking up, and, and we're going to get ready to go back. We start drying off the microphone cables and get ready to go back.
This afternoon we had a square dance group here that tried but did not quite succeed. Tonight, tonight we are going to give them a chance to have another go at it. This group, the Rutherford County Square Dancers. They are all tennis sims. They are under the direction of Steve Cates. performed in Europe. Great dancers. Steve Cates and his Rutherford County stage stompers. Oh, let's promenade now, everybody. Promenade around that track and don't look back. Couple up four with any old four and everybody couple four. We'll take a peek. Dave and couple lift the loop and form the four leaf clover. Let's form it now. Form the wheel. Everybody, couple four. Right hand across, and how are you? And left and back, and how do you do? Both hands over now, and ladies bow. Gents know how, and come on, gents, let's swing like thunder. Let's swing your partner, lady, with the great big feet. Now, your honey, this smells so sweet. Hit it, bam. Promenade everybody around that track and on look back and promenade and call it pal. You're the greatest crowd dancers that we've ever had. But this is the greatest audience you've ever had. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Steve Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the main event, the Fiddler Showdown between the winner of the senior Fiddler's event, Razor Moss, and the winner of the junior Fiddler's competition, Paul.
gentlemen last year the championship of the upper cumberland was frazier moss of cookville tennessee this year the champion of the upper cumberland is frazier moss of cookville tennessee tell you something, this Christman boy, it's no dishonor and no shame to lose to one of the greatest fiddlers in the Southland. This Christman boy deserves a lot of credit. He did wonderfully well, but it's awful hard to beat a guy like Frazier Moss. Remember something, it's old time country fiddling is what they were judging. 
We're going to give the honor of presenting this winner's plank to Frazier to another old Cookville boy, our, one of our local undertakers, Albert Walker. Would you come up? Albert Walker is responsible for all of these tents. It's a great deal of pleasure to present you this plaque. Thank you very you much. You deserve it very much. Thank you very much. Frank, I appreciate it very much. We can't find your fiddle off championship. They'll get it later, okay? Fine. This is for senior fiddle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. What's the next plaque? <laughs> Everybody is your neighbor on this one thing you can rely. And I'll come to see you and never, never leave you saying, Y'all come to see us by and by. Y'all come, y'all come, y'all come. Oh, y'all come to see us when you can. Y'all come, y'all come, y'all come. Oh, y'all come to see us now and then. Come to the kitchen and help do the dishes right away. Right after dinner, they ain't looking any thinner, and you can't hear Barry say, Y'all come, y'all come, y'all come, y'all come. Oh, y'all come to see us when you can. Y'all come, y'all come, everybody come. Oh, y'all come to see us now and then. Thank you. 